right, it's time. ECA Summer Series, the interim series we've all been waiting for, hosted by the Wild West Zones, is starting tonight. Week one of eight, and uh, seven of eight races will count in this series. Um, it's a fun series, so nobody's taking it that seriously. But still, it's competition, it's racing, it's fun, right? This week we're at Nürburgring, the Grand Prix circuit, which is a really incredible track. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of uh, really tough technical turns um, on the track, and uh, it's definitely been a lot of fun practicing and uh, building up some speed. So here we go. Um, I'm actually participating in the PCA Sport. Um, there are actually two other races that are going on simultaneously, and sadly, I won't be able to tell you much about those other than the results at the end of the video um, for the pro and club classes racing together, and the challenge and unclassed drivers are driving together. It's, this is in the only of the, uh, one of the three sessions that is entirely comprised of one class. So let's just stop me from talking. I don't want to ramble on. You want to watch some racing. So come right along with me. Enjoy. The track temp is 66 Fahrenheit. The air temp is 65 Fahrenheit. All right, Chip, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Go, go, go. You son of a bitch! Shocking start, mate. Settle down, start working your way back up the order. Apologies to anyone I got uh, in the way of I can believe that. Okay, Chip, double chances here. Let's make sure we can take a B9. Yellow flag, caution. Sector one time's okay.
Sector 2 time is okay. Eighth place. P7. Okay, Chip, you're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 2.1 seconds. Our fuel window will open after 12 minutes and closes after 26 minutes.
concept of spatial awareness. Didn't even know I was there. Come on, champ. Good stuff. Keep it coming. This is okay. Keep those exit speeds up. P6. All good. I don't think I have damage. The gap behind's increased to 1.3. You're a tenth off the pace in sector two. Just done a 159.29. Alright Chip, you reel in Morgan, in. The gap is now 2.4 seconds. You're a tenth off the pace in sector one. Sector 3 time is fast.
P5. Fantastic. Now keep pushing. Fuck. Okay, Chip. Just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. E4. Sorry, Volker. Go by me, man. Uh, it's alright, thanks. Well done, Chip. Good pass. Nice front. Thank you, Volker. Nice delivery. Is that new?
No, same one I used in uh, Laguna. Defend hard, make them work for it. Away. The gap behind is now 1.6 seconds. This is good. Keep banging out them lap times. P2. Okay, Jip. We're running on fumes, mate. In this lap. Box this lap. One gallon remaining. The leader, Palmer, is pitting. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. The car behind's pitting now. Three hundred feet. 100 feet. There's traffic behind, watch your mirrors. Damn it all, oh, fuck. We're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 2.1 seconds. Can't believe that.
V6. The gap in front is now 1.4 seconds. I think I've used my tires up. Okay, Chip, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. Well done, mate. That was great. the track, force him to find the gap. That was a good move. Sure. B5. Thank you.
Stay close, wait for him to crack. The gap in front is increasing, it's now 1.2. We're running out of time, Carl. Two minutes to go, two minutes. White flag, one more to go. Okay, Jet, we estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. P5. 
84. There we go, it's over. Bring it back round. Good race, everybody. That was a race. That was crazy, right? Um, so the first lap I had pole position. Nice place to start. I thought I really truly believed that I had gotten off the line and had cleared the second place car enough to where I had the racing line. And uh, first of all, it's arrogant. I, I should have known better. I should have given space, even though I wasn't sure, but I couldn't see anything in my mirrors. Spotter didn't tell me anything, no indication whatsoever um, on my screen that indicated that there was a car there and I turned down. And so that was entirely my fault. Um, so uh, to Keith, uh, great apologies. Um, good on you for pushing through me and uh, keeping the place for as long as you did. Um, I know you uh, got pushed out uh, um, uh, a little later in the race and, and fell back as well. Um, but uh, uh, that, that was inexcusable. So that was all on me. So I put myself behind the eight ball, really, um, in going from first to ninth and really having to chase. And uh, that cost a lot of things. First of all, uh, the right rear of my car was damaged pretty pretty significantly. Um, but uh, uh, when I got to pit, finally, that fast repair came in handy. I got a fast repair and the car was pristine again, but it <laughs> came back out. And the tires were worn after the first stent, um, didn't change the tires on the on the uh, pit stop. And because I had had to learn to compensate for the car, um, I didn't give myself ample opportunity to get used to the pristine car again. And um, I didn't give myself a full lap to, to, to get a feel for it and wound up pushing hard and spun. I'm like, dang it. Hate it when that happens. But, you know, there you go. Um, all things being equal, um, not a bad finish. I managed to push my way back up into fourth, um, and, uh, um, had some great racing along the way with Volker and Carl. Um, definitely, uh, it, it was, it was fun. Um, although, um, slightly disappointing. I did get pole position, so I got a bonus point for that. And I also had the fastest lap of the race, um, on lap seven, which was still when the car was damaged. So not sure how I did that, but uh, um, regardless, got a couple of bonus points and uh, that, that favored me quite well. In fact, uh, the standings for sport right now put me in third with that bonus point. I'm actually tied in terms of points with Keith. So um, we, we actually did pretty well uh, considering that, uh, that first la lap uh, um, clown show <laughs> as it were um congratulations to david um on the win um and uh that is uh um daniel florian brought in uh the the, the the podium as well in third keith did get second um despite some some problems in the race so good race overall um, in case you're wondering uh, how the other classes finished uh, just so uh um, you can kind of get a sense of uh the the other racing that was going on uh leon van handel um, he came out to Prelude on Wednesday and was super, super fast. Um, so he does not disappoint uh, finishing in first. Looks like he's got the fast lap and uh, the pole position points as well. Uh, James Huth uh, gave him a good run for his money from everything that was described in Discord. Um, and, of course, Mr. Clean, zero incident race. So he gets a bonus point as well there. So um, tight race there at the top in pro. In club, um, we have Glenn Dennis. Um, Finishing out first, John Martin uh, second, which is uh, really good. He did really well in sport and was just promoted. Um, so to see him finish in the, on the podium is really good. And then, of course, our good friend Rob Cottle finishes third. Um, so gets a podium, which is uh, really awesome for him. I'm sure he's really happy with that. Um, challenge uh, did uh, did well, looks like. Um, we have uh, Mark Bergstrom um, and Scott Rogers and uh, Anker Bergson um, uh, first, first through third. Um, looks like a, a decent race there at the top. Um, and, uh, I didn't uh, get any reports uh, indicating otherwise. So I assume everybody had fun. So all, all good stuff, um, championships, uh, in those other classes as well. We'll just go ahead and, and show that as well really quickly here. Um, so one, two, three, as you would expect, um, I showed you sport already club, 
Again, one, two, three, and nice, nice play here. And this includes the bonus points that were awarded for those uh, that got the uh, pole position, fastest lap, or had zero incident races. So that's a race. Um, a lot of fun. Um, a little personally, a little disappointing um, due to my, you know, my own fault. Um, I, I made some mistakes, and they were costly. Um, I really I came in expecting to uh, to at least be on the podium. Let me be honest. I really expected to win. Um, I was fast. I was fast in practice. Um, we had uh, somebody that joined us, um, um, Mr. Del Toro, super fast in practice and sport. Um, and uh, he wound up having some VR trouble that prevented him from actually starting the race. Um, he was in the 57s. So uh, fast, fast time. So I look forward to uh, to uh, Federico coming out and, and racing with us uh, the next race because he is super fast and I expect that uh, that will be a true challenge to chase around the track. Anyway, um, thank you for joining. Again, uh, if uh, you have not done so already and you want to be made aware of the, these videos when I uh, launch them, click on subscribe. If you like the video, of course, I love it when you click on like. That makes it easier for people that uh, are like-minded um, to find the video um, and the, the cascade of videos that get presented to them by the YouTube algorithms. And, of course, um, if you have comments, um, you want to um, uh, tell me I did something horrible or uh, commiserate with me or uh, make fun of me, um, whatever you want to do, um, the comments are there at your disposal. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, but... Uh, until next week, we're going to be at Mount Panorama for week two. And that's a whole other ball of wax. Uh, that's actually a track I've never done a race on ever. Um, so um, I've driven it, but it's a terrifying track. Um, you get really close to those walls, it's kind of scary. So it's going to be a fun week. So uh, don't miss. Uh, join us next week uh, for this uh, same kind of setup. And we'll see how we do. Thank you very much for joining. And take care. Was machen wir im Sport?